Have you got a wood burning stove like this or similar? Well, now is a good time to have a look at the rope seal on the door and see if you need to replace it. When I was sweeping the chimney last week, I noticed that ours is starting to perish and come away. So today on Fix It With Fowler, I'm going to show you how to replace that with a simple kit from Amazon and hopefully the job should only take 10 or 15 minutes using some real simple DIY tips and tricks. So the first job you need to do is measure the diameter of the rope. So to do that, you can get a tape measure, measure across the rope itself, or if the rope's a bit loose, you can measure between these two grooves and that should give you the same measurement. So once you've got that, you can head over to Amazon. I'll put a link below where I got my kit and you can order them for next day delivery. So one point to mention about your wood burning stove some of these stoves, the doors, you can open them and actually lift them off. And doing this job will be 10 times easier if you can take the door off. Sometimes they have pins that you can pull out. Unfortunately for mine, there's no such thing. So I've got to do mine in situ. Okay, so all you need to do is gently peel this rope away from the stove. And it should come off pretty easy. However, in areas you may find it stuck pretty well. These are just held in with an adhesive and as you can see it's coming off all right up to now. One thing I would recommend though is you wear gloves because you can see there's quite a lot of dust from the uh, rope itself and also make sure you're wearing a mask. So on to the next step then. Get yourself a screwdriver and you can see actually it comes out really easy and all you've got to do is work your way along getting out any excess bits now once you've done that and you're happy with you've got this they've got the remaining glue and rope out you can get yourself a stiff brush give it a wipe over and then that would be ready for gluing. So now I'm just going to go around, do the whole of the door, and then we'll move on to the next stage. So how these are held in place is just with this glue itself. There's no other fixings other than this glue. So if the door was off, you'd have the door laying down on a protective surface. You'd be able to fill this with glue, run the rope around, it'd be quite straightforward. If you've got a stove that you can't take the door off like this one or it's really difficult then a top tip is to get yourself some uh, duct tape or gaffer tape or any sort of strong tape and then what you can do is you can put a few bits of tape on and hold the rope into position to allow you to cut this to the right length however if you cut it a bit short the rope itself will actually stretch so you can get round it if you do cut it a little bit short. So it's not too critical this. So the first thing I've done is put some tape in each corner and I'm gonna put an extra piece just near here where I'm going to actually do the join. So to make life easy, I'm gonna drop the rope over the back of the stove just to take some of the weight. Now I'm gonna do my join just down here in the corner. There's no particular reason for that other than it's got less chance of being disturbed down here than say in the middle of the door at this edge where you're going to be opening it and putting logs in and out. So we'll just run this rope loosely up the side, round the first corner, and we know that's to that point. We can pull that across to there, put the rope on there. Hold that down to that corner, around there, put the tape on there, and you can see easily, you can see how easy it actually is to do that this way. 
and then you can run this along the bottom around to there through your last bit of tape and then now you know exactly where you need to cut it if you're finding this video helpful up to now then please don't forget give this video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and that way you won't miss out on any future videos don't forget i've got a few more videos about wood burning stoves and a really good one about sweeping your own chimney using a chimney typhoon kit so thanks again so the next stage is to actually glue this rope into place and like i said before if the door was off and it was laid flat you could run a nice thick bead of this glue all the way around press the rope into it leave it to set and that's as easy as it is however in this case i've got to be careful because i've got to apply the adhesive push the rope into it and try and keep the rope into place so once i've put the glue in and got the rope on what i'm going to do is shut the door to keep the force onto the rope so i'm going to try and apply some of this glue to the rope and work my way around and hopefully it will all hold into place so i'm not just going to start from one end what i'm actually going to do is put the rope in a little bit And then just by doing that, it takes the weight off the rope and it will hopefully stop it pulling out so much. So let's start by applying the glue. I'm going to start by going from this corner. As you can see, it is quite thick. So once you've got a nice thick bead of the glue in, you can then think about pressing the rope into it. Now don't worry if you've got any runs in it or it's, a, it's running out of the groove like it is on the bottom here. Because what you can do is once you've pressed the rope into it, you can wipe off any excess just with a bit of kitchen towel or a rag. So press your rope into the glue. And you can see already, look, that's starting to, to grip the rope. And it's just a case of taking your time and working your way around the actual stove itself. Okay, so that's the rope all in. It's been in for about five minutes. The thing to check is just to press in the corners, make sure the rope's sat in the corners and on the joint. Once you're happy that it's all sat in the groove, the next thing to do is to push your door shut to apply a bit of pressure. And now I'll leave that for two or three hours. And when we come back, we can check it and do something called a paper test. For the paper test, all you're gonna need is a short bit of paper Open your wood burning stove, place that in the side, shut the door and give the paper a tug. And all you need to do is repeat that process around your wood burning stove to ensure that you've got a good seal. So that's the end of the video. That's the rope seal done. And that should make a big difference now when we come to use it this winter, nice and uh, airtight and it'll allow the wood burning stove to burn exactly as it should and allow us to control the heat and the air going through the stove. So hope you like what you see. Don't forget, give me a subscribe and I'll see you soon.